know, sometimes my kids drive me absolutely nuts. I, I want to just rip out my hair and scream and yell and run around like a freak. Yeah, I imagine you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that our kids are well, attacked in the trial? Him? <laughs> <laughs> he pulled his out. I don't have any hairs. That's why I like to see people rip it off. It could be a real trial. Yeah, yeah no. Yes, That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> as a matter of fact, they are a trial. Uh, as everything else in life. Um, I remember that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once, while he was giving the khutbah on the pulpit, delivering a speech, he saw his grandsons, Al-Hasan and Al-Hussein, and they were tripping in their clothes, over their clothes. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam interrupted his speech, and he descended, he went ahead towards them, he picked them up. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam addressed the Ummah saying that, Sadaq Allah al azim إِنَّمَا أَمْوَالُكُمْ وَأَوْلَادُكُمْ فِتْنَةٍ وَاللَّهُ عِنْدَهُ أَجْرٌ عَظِيمٌ Which means Allah has spoken the truth. Indeed, your wealth and your children are but a trial. And Allah has a great reward with him. So, like everything else in life, wealth and children also a trial. A test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a child, He wants to see how would you raise him. How would you follow the same procedures which he prescribed for you? And the Prophet ﷺ uh, advised us how to raise our children properly. So if you follow those procedures, then you succeeded. And if you don't, then you fail the test. Like everything else in life. As a matter of fact, life itself is, is a, a test. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember an ayah which describes life as a matter of test? That would be one of you guys. <laughs> It's a f very famous ayah, very famous surah. It is actually the beginning of Surah Al-Mulk, where mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عمل Blessed be Allah, in whose hand is the kingdom, and he's able to do all things. The one who created death and life. What is the purpose of creating death and life? لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا So that he may try you. Which one of you is best in deeds? So life is a test. Wealth is a big test. Yeah. Having any children is a test. And not having any children is also a test. How do you tell the difference between a test and a punishment? Well, you should not really be concerned about whether it's a test or a punishment. You should be concerned about how to pass a test. Now we're in a situation. Allah bestows children on you. Your wife conceives and you have a son or a daughter. You're supposed to see what you're supposed to do. Okay? Not have any children. It could be a test. It could be a punishment. You cannot recognize that. But you should uh, endure this situation with patience. And be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in either case, whether you have or you don't have. Similarly, but poverty think, and richness. I think punishment is part of the test. Like well, sometimes, it's part of the sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punishes his servants and his loved ones for even minor things they do in the life to purify them from their sins right away. So that when they meet him on the day of judgment, they will be free from any sins. Yeah. Yes. That's very good. Um, I have a friend who wants to have children very badly and they supplicate, they ask everyone to supplicate, they pay for people to go to Hajj and stuff like this to help them get children. Is this going to be of any use to them? Yes, of course, of course. It does, it does help. Uh, as a matter of fact, supplication and making dua is a very recommended act. And the Prophet ﷺ indicated in one hadith that a dua is mukhul ibadah. It's like representing the ibadah as a human body. And the brain which controls this entire body, this act of worship, is making dua, is supplicating. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ordering the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to inform us, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ Whenever my servants ask you concerning me, inform them that I am close to them. Very close, closer to us than our juggler vein. So if this is the case, then فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشِدُونَ So let them respond to me. How? By supplicating, by making dua, and asking of Allah and Allah alone. 
because as a matter of fact it is